Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Pierre Meunier and today we will talk about how to set a glider. So obviously not this one, this one is made out of plastic and um, if you don't know from where it come from, it's from a um, World Cup uh, trophy. So because I won one, uh, one contest, uh, was a part of a World Cup. So yeah, <laughs> it comes from my trophy. Um, don't worry, not, it's not broken at all. <laughs> I will not do that ever. So, um, so I will use this to explain you how to set your DLG and today we will talk about the first step, how to set the differential. Obviously, um, I'm considering your glider already did his maiden, so the CG is correct. It's not perfect, but it's correct. Uh, we will talk about setting the CG in an other video. It will be a series. Uh, I do only indoor series, a uh, series, uh, series, because uh, right now it's um, minus six degrees outside. It's full of fog and full of ice, so I can't fly at all. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about how to set. Uh, this differential. So, as I told you already, your glider already flew. It flew well, you checked everything, everything is correct. So, now I will talk about what is differential and don't think it's the same thing as the rates. So, the rates are, I will explain to you a bit what is each thing. The rates are the, uh, the O fast your glider is turning if it's on pitch on yo or on roll it's all fast okay this is the rate the differential is what is the difference between how many millimeter how many millimeters this one is moving up if you're turning this way and how many millimeters down going this arrow Okay, so this is the difference. Okay, um, how many uh, millimeters is in difference between each addons? So if you're turning this way, this addon will go up and this will go down. Okay, it's pretty simple. So a standard differential. So when you talk about standard differential, it's considering the addon going up is going more millimeters up than the one going down. So we'll talk about a uh, normal differential. If you have the up around going 10 millimeters and the down around going 6 millimeters, it's normal differential. Symmetric rates is if each around going 10 millimeters up and the other down. That's it. It's symmetric. And inverse or reverse differential is when the one go down, so about 10, mi 10 millimeters we will say, and the go one goes up, go only 6 millimeters. This is a reverse differential. So what do we use in DLG, or what do I use most in particular, because I will talk about my settings, because this is what I know the most, I don't know about everyone's settings. So mine are for the most reverse differential and not by a bit. It's really highly reverse differential. So um, why? Because in S3K TLG uh, what I want is the glider rolling perfectly on the axis of the fuse lab. So like this. When I turn I want the glider move only like this. Not like this. Okay? Not like this and not like this too, okay? So just going climbing or falling, okay? This is not something that I want to. I want straight roll perfectly on axis. And this is how I set every one of my glider, so F3K, because as you know, <laughs> I fly mainly F3K, so rolling like this. How do you do this? 
by setting your differential. So if your glider go too much like this or like this, your differential is not good. And for most part is because uh, if it go up, your wing is creating too much lift. So just less down ailerons. If your glider is going down when you're turning this way, it's because this one is creating too much lift on the top or this one not enough on the bottom. So just think about that and um, it will be good. Uh, you just need to set to get the glider perfectly in line with the fuselage. Why I want to set my glider like this? Because it's the most natural way and neutral way to fly the glider. It's perfectly on axis, you know exactly how it will react. Um, and when you mix it with the rudder, it will just enter in the thermal perfectly. And if you are just shaken uh, like this uh, by the turbulence, it's way easier to counter the turbulence when you are perfectly on axis. So, yeah, it's why I said it like this. Um, the differential will be different for, for nearly every glider because it depends on the weight of the wing, it depends on um, your servos, it depends on the push rods, it depends on your CG, uh, and it depends on the model for sure. So, um, yeah, it's a thing to set on each and every glider. You can't copy your settings and get the exactly same uh, flying, but even if I get already some perfectly identical glider and even with setting it really the good way, it was not the same. So you can't get two gliders exactly the same and if you have achieved it. Uh, congratulations, because I didn't manage to do that. So, uh, yeah, you just have to find the way it roll perfectly straight. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, about the rest of the settings. So, uh, we'll talk about the CG, we'll talk about the snap flap, about how to set your maximum cumber for thermal, um, how to set your minimum sync rate, uh, how to set your snap flap, I don't know if I say that already, um, how to set a good elevator amount. I will not talk about aileron to rudder mix because um, I don't use that, so I don't know how to set it great. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope you appreciate this video. Uh, if you have any question about how to set the um, differential just let me know in the comment down below and i will reply to you um, and you can contact me too on my facebook page s3k review um, i'm always here to reply to you and it's a pleasure to me so thank you a lot for watching i hope you appreciate this video and see you next time bye